video is about five healthy habit hacks that we can all start doing today to change our life for the better. Now there are millions of things that we can all be doing. I'm going to try to avoid the obvious ones like healthy eating and diet and exercise, sleep. Now those things are super super important and we should never forget about them and those are the basics of a healthy lifestyle so don't forget to do those things. Uh, I'm going to talk about the less obvious ones that we can all try out and implement into our lives. But here are five things that I personally like to do every day to be more productive, feel more fulfilled, and stay on a healthy lifestyle track. Different things work for different people, so you don't have to do any of this. However, this is all stuff that I personally like to do on a daily basis and things that help me to feel good and to feel healthy, vibrant, and radiant. So if there's anything that helps you out or anything that you want to try out, then great. Number one water with lemon. You probably heard about this already, a lot of people are talking about it, but honestly starting every morning with a glass of water with lemon is super healthy for your digestion system and it's such a great way to start every morning. You can have a glass of water ready on your nightstand, that way when you wake up you don't have to do anything, you just drink it and let that be the first thing you do every morning and it's super healthy for your stomach. Great way to start drinking water for the day, you feel refreshed, it helps you wake up, it's super healthy for you and for me personally when I do that it makes it so much easier to drinking water and keep eating healthy I don't know I think it's definitely a psychological thing but just by doing that little thing really helps me to get on the right track for the day number two keep a nice posture and smile often this sounds a little silly, but there is psychological evidence behind it. And honestly, you might not be in the greatest mood, but if you force yourself to smile for like 10 minutes straight, like literally force yourself, then you actually start to feel a little bit better. And same with posture, you know, walk like a winner. <laughs> and you know, if you can't do it from inside out, do it from outside in. You know, keep your posture up and straight and nice and healthy. Have a smile on your face. First of all, it makes you more attractive to other people and it just makes you feel better chemicals in your body start changing based on your physical state of being so walk like a champion feel healthy walk with a smile and with a good posture and it honestly helps to boost your mood and it's such a good thing to remind yourself to do every single day because I know that sometimes we don't feel great uh, and it's really hard to force yourself to just feel better when you're feeling down however if you can't do it from inside out do it from outside in and just start doing these little things and you'll gradually start to feel better so this is definitely a great thing to remember for every day and a good posture is also great for toning your stomach so that's another great tip if that's something that you're looking for Number three, we've all heard this before, but organizing your house. A lot of the time what surrounds us, especially in our house, is a reflection of our state of mind. And so if you're living in clutter, then your head is probably in chaos. If that's not the case for you, then by all means don't do this. But for me personally, I know that when my room is messy or cluttery, my head feels cluttery and messy. And so a great way to start straightening out my thoughts and getting my priorities straight is just starting to organize and clean and getting rid of garbage and just things that I haven't used in years and honestly it's such a refreshing and healthy habit and it definitely helps to keep your mind focused and clear. Actually if you're feeling a little down, cleaning is a very good thing to do to help boost your mood because it refocuses your mind on something that you're doing physically, it helps to ground you, put you in the present moment, as well as obviously declutter your space as well as your mind. Number four, have a couple of things that are your to-go comfort thing. And by that, I mean it could be just about anything, but just something that makes you feel good, that makes you feel comforted. It could be a candle, it could be you know something out of makeup, or an outfit, or a certain smell. So for me personally, it has been this rose water that I bought at TJ Maxx, but I've been loving it. And first of all, the smell is so pleasant, and you just spray it on your face and it moisturizes and refreshes your skin. And I don't know why, but I just, I love looking at it, I love the way it feels, I love the way it smells, and so I know that if I need a pick-me-up, I just spray it and I just automatically feel better. And also I have the Serenity candle, and again, it smells amazing, and I just light it in the morning and in the evenings, and 
I don't know, it just makes me feel better. The smell and the way it looks and just knowing that I have it just makes me feel comforted. And so I think that it's super important to have those kind of to-go-to -to things if you're feeling a little down or not even, just things that make you happy when you look at them. And it's good to switch them up maybe every month and they don't have to be expensive. This rose water was like $5, the candle was like $7, uh, but it brings me so much joy and happiness. And it's important to just have little things like that that you can just go to and they'll automatically make you feel better or that just make you feel good every time you look at them. Number five, you know, if you have something that you're looking for and that you want to achieve, which most of us do, it is so important to examine your belief system within you and make sure that every day practicing positive beliefs about yourself and about your life is a part of your everyday. Just like you work out and you exercise the muscles in your body, it's so important to exercise your mind and exercising your belief system in a positive way and into a positive direction. And what I mean by that is understand what person you need to be and what beliefs you need to have in order to accomplish your dreams and your goals. You know, because a lot of the time we want something but in the back of our head we're like we think that we're not good enough or it's impossible or that's too much money or you know we're to this we're to that and it's so important to really get to the bottom of it understand what you truly believe about yourself right now and especially in relation to your goals and dreams and start changing those beliefs on a daily basis into a positive direction and you know this is definitely a deep and lengthy topic and definitely make a separate video about that however just in simple terms if you know that your problem is that you know you want this thing but you think that you're not worth it well then with every day take action in order to prove yourself wrong meaning act with the belief of that you are worth it you don't have to necessarily believe it right away it takes years to program a certain belief in you and so obviously you're not going to change a belief in a day however you do need that evidence to change your belief and so instead of waiting for the belief to change start acting and taking action as if you already have that certain belief so you feel like you're not worth it but you want to feel like you are worth it and so you know, start taking action out of the state of mind that I am worth it I am good enough and start doing those things that you would do in that state of mind for example if there's a specific person that you have to reach out to your automatic thought is oh my god no they're not gonna like me I'm not worth it I'm not good enough why would I talk to them no be like okay the person that I need to be would talk to that person because that person knows that they're worth it and that they're good enough and that they're amazing and so take that step and talk to the person no matter how scared you are after every action you're gonna get evidence back that will help to build that healthy belief up and this is something that needs to keep going every day just like you exercise your body exercise your belief system and start changing your beliefs in positive direction. So yeah, so those are five things that we can all do to start changing our life into a positive direction and just be living a healthy, fulfilling, productive lifestyle. So I hope that there's something that helps you. I would love to hear the things that you guys do uh, to stay healthy, to stay fit. So feel free to leave a comment or send me a message and if you have absolutely any questions, let me know and I'll be more than happy to answer them. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you get something helpful out of this and if not, sorry, but just keep looking and I'm sure you'll find the answers that you're looking for. Don't forget to subscribe and like the video and I'll see you in the next video. Remember that you're amazing and beautiful and I hope that you have a tremendous, beautiful, amazing, wonderful, positive day.